Hello, my dear friends. Welcome. I'm David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the counting sort algorithm. So let's start. Let's read together. You find this PDF, this document on my website. You can download it, you can print, share, you can do what you want. So let's start. The counting sort algorithm is a non comparative sorting algorithm often used when sorting integers or objects that can be mapped to integer keys. Unlike general comparison based sorting algorithms such as quicksort or merge sort, counting sort achieves linear time complexity by using the key values as indexes in an auxiliary array. This algorithm is efficient for specific situations where the range of the input elements is not significantly larger than the number of elements to be sorted. While it has impressive performance in cases where the input is restricted to a null range, it is not a general purpose sorting algorithm. Purpose and use cases. Counting sort is primarily used to sort integers or elements that can be mapped to a small, finite range of integers. Sorting small integers. It is particularly effective when sorting small integers, such as in digital systems where you may only have byte or word sizes integers. Sorting in specific domains. Algorithms related to counting problems in combinatronics or cryptography and in radix sort, which can use counting sort as a subroutine. Histograms and frequency counting. Counting sort can help to count occurrences of elements in an array, which is useful in applications like frequency analysis or building histograms. When to use counting sort? The range of the input data is known and not ex excessively large compared to the number of elements. The input data are positive integers or easily mapped to integer keys. When not to use counting sort, the range of the data is significantly larger than the input size, as the auxiliary array will become inefficiently large if you are dealing with floating point numbers or non integer data. How it works? Counting sort works by determining the frequency of each distinct element in the input array and using this information to place the elements directly into their correct positions. The key idea is that it avoids comparisons by using the input values themselves to index into an auxiliary counting array. Steps 1. Determine the range of the input data, finding the minimum and the maximum values. 2. Initialize the count array, create an auxiliary array, let's call it count, where each index corresponds to an element in the input range. Initialize all elements of count to 0. 3. Count the occurrences of each input element by incrementing the value at the corresponding index in the count. 4. Accumulate counts, uh, modify the count array such that each position stores the sum of previous counts. This will allow each element to be placed directly in its sorted position. 5. Place the elements in the output array by iterating over the input array in reverse and placing each element in its correct position based on the count array. 6. Copy the sorted elements from the output array back to the input array. 
algorithm overview let n be the number of elements in the input array and k be the range of input values the counting sort algorithm can be described uh, can be described as uh, follows one find the range maximum and minimum of the input array two initialize the counting array count of size max minus min plus one for each element in the, in the input array increment the corresponding index in, in the count accumulate the counts in count to determine the positions of elements iterate through the input array placing each element in the correct position using uh, count pseudo code this is uh, the function counting sort a b k a is the input array b is the output array k is the maximum value let's see b a new array of size k plus one initialize all elements of c to zero step one count the occurrences of each element for i that is equal to zero to length a minus one c a i uh, is equal to c a i plus one step two accumulate counts for i equals one to k c uh, i equals uh, ci plus ci minus one step three place the element into the sorted positions for i equals length a minus one down to zero b c a i b of c of a i is equal to a of i and c of a of i is equal to c of a of i minus one Time complex, the counting uh, elements we loop over the input array of size n, taking uh, on the time, building the count array, we initialize and fill the count array, which takes OK time, where k is the range of the input elements. Placing elements, we loop over the input array again to place elements in their correct position, taking uh, on the time. The overall time complexity is O of n plus k. Space complexity, the space complexity of counting sort is O of n plus key, where O n is for the output array and O key is for the count array. Counting sort is very efficient when the range k, when the range k is not significantly larger than the number of elements n. However, if k grows too large compared to n, the auxiliary space for the count array can become excessive. C program, here is the implementation of the counting sort algorithm in C. So you need to copy paste this code uh, on inside code blocks that is uh, an open source cross platform IDE and you can compile and build and uh, test uh, uh, this code so you will learn uh, to program by doing these exercises day by day so as you can read here it is the function to find the maximum element in the array then uh, the counting sort function so create the count array with the size the max plus one and initialize it to zero. Step one, count occurrences of each element. Step two, accumulate counts. Step three, create output array and place elements in their correct position. Step four, copy sorted elements from output array to the original array and this is for free dynamically allocated memory uh, function to print an array and it is the main function conclusion counting sort is an efficient sorting algorithm for situations where the input is restricted to a noun range of integers its linear time complexity makes it attractive for cases where the range of the data is small compared to the number of elements. However, its space complexity can become a limiting factor for large, for large ranges. So you can find this PDF on my website. 
inside the section uh, software engineering. My website is uh, www.david-cortez.com and you can find a lot of information uh, about software engineering, web development, mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on. You can find also games that I have uh, coded in JavaScript, you can find also music and extra documents. You can chat with me using my personal chat, you need to sign up using an email. And then, dear friend, your donation is important, help me update this website and join this community. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!